So many summons to do in Tower of Fantasy. The summons are far better than Genshin Impact. At 80, we get a guaranteed SSR. And of course, if you're free to play, you're gonna get that guaranteed SSR day one and you'll get multiple SSRs those following weeks. They're giving out so much in this game. We're gonna talk about all these summons here, how to get them, where to use them, all of these free rewards for having 3 million pre-registers, but it, well, it goes even more. They got 4 million pre-registers and they're giving us 10 Nucleus plus 10 Red Nucleus and another vehicle. This is insane the amount of rewards we're getting for just logging into the game, right? Playing the game on global launch. I'm sure a week after this will still be going on, you'll be able to get these rewards. So make sure you do sign into the game immediately and collect all these rewards. But not only this, you're doing all your achievements, you're doing your dailies, your weeklies, you've got battle pass if you want to, you've got the free version of the battle pass, you've got the premium version of the battle pass. You have got story mode when you start off and do the main story that you are gonna get so many summons. And if you look at the summons here for the Black Nucleus, these summons, the Black Nucleus, will drop everywhere in the world. Pretty soon you'll be, you'll be getting so many, you won't even pay attention to how many you have. It's a low chance to get an SSR at 0.3%, but again, you're getting so many of these, you don't even have to worry about it. Anything below the Black Nucleus you're gonna get from exploring the world, it's gonna be limited though, and you're gonna get things from doing events and of course doing all your achievements in the game, but you will get plenty of these. Other than that, you're gonna have to get them through premium currencies by purchasing it in the game if you wanna spend real world money. Now there's no need to spend money in a game like this, it's an action RPG, there aren't gonna be any walls that you're gonna get stopped at. You just go through the game and enjoy the game. So if you are one of those free to play players, do not worry. I already did a video on PVP for free to play. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. Day one, Nemesis is the banner summons. And if you do up to 80 summons, you have a 50% chance to get her. And if you do 120, you are guaranteed to go over here and pick her up. From what I understand, she is very strong. She's part of three weapons that you can use to synergize to have the most damage. Plus she does really good healing along with that. You pair her with another Volt weapon, 15% additional damage, 25% resistance here. You can see for this trait, she summons an Electroid in dealing damage and then also healing all allies within range by 120% of attack. Over here, it's 200% of attack. So I'm interested in getting her. I'm gonna at least get one copy of her. I'm not gonna get multiple star copies here. It's gonna cost too much for me to keep rolling. I'm not gonna wail out on the game like this, but I do wanna pick up at least one copy of every weapon. So maybe I'll get lucky and get her at 80, or I'll have to go to 120 so I can do that guaranteed. Either way, I'll be, I'll be satisfied with that because I'm sure I'm gonna pick up some SSRs on the way there. Getting multiple stars to make it stronger, I feel like over time, me playing the game, doing summons, just the free summons they give me, or me going for another banner that's up after this, I'll eventually get more copies of her, so I'm not gonna rush out and do that. Other weapons that you wanna pair her up with would be somebody like Bayuki or Samar here. They're both Volt. As you can tell, Volt champions, and then if you want a really fast, great shield breaker, it's gonna be King to go in there, break those shields as quickly as possible, and then you get back to doing that DPS with your nemesis and whatever other Volt hero you're gonna play with her. I'm excited for this. I'm excited for the summons in the game. From what I've seen from everybody that's played the game, the Chinese version, they get a crazy amount of summons, and it looks like we are too. And along with doing all the things you do for the story mode, and them giving us all of this, and then the events along with all the boxes, the chests that we find out in the world, there's gonna be a lot. So I wish you all the best of luck. Please subscribe if you haven't, guys, because we're going to be playing a lot of Tower of Fantasy. I look forward to seeing you all.